Betty, it's the AG Reviewer 1 here, and this video is sort of just a video of stuff that I got in a package from American Girl recently. Um, as a lot of you know, there has, there's like some sale going on, and if you haven't checked it out, I recommend you do. Um, but I got some stuff from it, and I also got some stuff that wasn't on sale, and I'll just kind of go through it and show you what it is. Um, yeah, so first, actually, I'm, okay, before we start... I'm just going to go from smallest to largest, so, or just from, I don't know, least importance to most important, so bear with me, and the, say, I'm saving the best for last, so, yeah. Um, just because I'm on this, I'll just show you this. I got Kit Scooter, because it's one of the last, um, currently available items that I need to complete Kit's collection. I still have a couple more to go, but I don't have any more items to buy that are currently available. All of them are just retired. Um, yeah, so it's just a scooter. I already had Grace and Kit in the scooter outfit, obviously. Um, but it's pretty plastic. I might do a review on it later. Um, but I don't have high hopes for it as far as the scoring goes because it's just one big hunk of plastic. Um, next, I got Josefina's doll Nina for $8. She's adorable and she's got the little, um, shoot, I think it's Mantilla. It's just a little, um, short of like a... I don't know what to call it, like a veil. And there's, yeah, and she just looks just like the one um, with Josefina's Christmas gown. I don't know, yeah. Um, next, I got the holiday accessory set from this year. Um, it comes with the box, the purse, um, the bracelet. Sorry, I'm just trying to get it. It's kind of hard to keep it straight. Um, and the book. And then in the box, there are um, earrings, which I'm probably never going to use just because I don't put hoop earrings on my dolls because... Um, Elizabeth is my only doll with pierced ears, and she's from 1774, and I don't think they had hoop earrings in 1774. Um, anyways, the only reason I got this was for the book, because I love the book. <laughs> I think it's adorable, and, um, Jan Brett is one of my favorite authors. And the illustrations are adorable, and I have a lot of other books by her, too, so, for, like, human size. Um, one thing I was disappointed on is in the purse, I thought it had a flap right here, like a little V-flap. It didn't. It opens on the top. There you have it. It's, plus, it's kind of cheap. Um, but, I mean, I got this for $8, so whatever. I had no complaints there. Um, next, this isn't from American Girl. I just found this at a thrift shop. I don't usually go to thrift shops, um, except for the one time that I found the chair and then the horse, which is in another video. So, um, yeah, anyways, I was just kind of surprised to find this. So, that was kind of my thrift store find. Um, I think it was like a dollar, dollar thirty, something like that. Not too expensive. Um, last but not least, I have Kit's, I got Kit's holiday set, and I am absolutely in love with this set. It's like Christmas in July for me, because I love baking, and so all this stuff is great for baking. Um, and I really recommend it for all you bakers out there. And I have it here with Kit's table and chair set. Oh, and I'll just put that chair there, just so you can see its proportion. Um, it's perfectly proportioned for American Girls. Um, I didn't take out the other chair just because, uh, I just didn't. Um, anyways, it comes with the, t I'll just show you some of the stuff it came with. It came with a tablecloth, cookie cutters, um, really hefty. This is really heavy. It's like a metal tray and plastic cookies, which are a ripoff because they're like one chunk of plastic, like the scooter over there. Um, anyways, it comes with a candle and a red star with, um, plastic evergreen bows and a, the star itself is plastic, which is kind of cheap. Um, and then a flower box, which is cardboard, and a sugar box, which is cardboard. Um, a baking powder can, which is surprisingly heavy. I was not expecting it to be this heavy, so I recommend this is, like, I'm, in, I'm impressed with that. And then a flour sifter with no holes to sift flour, which is kind of funny, but there has a little crank. Kind of defeats the purpose of a flour sifter. There's no sift to it. Um, and then there's measuring cups. There's this one and there's this one. And they fit in each other. And they're metal too. These are really cute. I like those a lot. And then there are three recipe cards for, you probably can't read them, uh, nut ball cookies, sugar and spice cookies, and thumbprint and jelly cookies. And I'd actually like to try some of these out, but it's kind of far away from the holidays. And those are kind of wintry recipes. Uh, I don't know if I already show the cookie cutters. Oh, and my favorite piece. Um, the roller, which is wood, except for the handles, which are plastic, but it's adorable. I, this is my all-time favorite part of it. Just look at how cute that is. It has little pictures on it, too, which I love. Love it. Anyways, um, thank you so much for watching. Yeah, this is just kind of my haul. Usually, I don't order this stuff in, like, I don't usually get American Girl stuff in such large quantities. 
Um, but I, it was just a good time to get it. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.